On this episode, Glissy's our special guest, and this time we're doing art. That's right. This week's episode is going to be an art storm. A hurricane of creativity is going to blow through this place. There may be charcoal, paint, who knows what else, and we're going to find out just how much of it sticks to the canvas and what the judges have to say about it. Will be my best art ever. I, I've never understood contemporary art. In fact, that's more what I, I guess I would say. Never understood contemporary art. I've always appreciated art that is done extremely well. I'm not a great artist, and when someone can make something look very real life, it blows me away. But when I see contemporary art, I always think, what on earth is going on there? But, but then I hear people say things like, the artist was trying to express this or say that. I took art classes for a while, actually, and I got some really good instruction and they taught some principles of art. I'm definitely going to look my notes over and make sure that I'm not neglecting things that I've already been shown. So for my piece, what I decided I want to do is I want to specifically pick something important to me. Um, and that thing in this, for this piece of art, is going to be unity. Feel like it's going to be terrible? It will be terrible. You have to have fun while we're doing art. In my bones, so I got out the canvas and some charcoal, and I just I just went to town. And, uh, and Marianne told me later, she's like, "So you have a bunch of footage of of the different processes you went through for for this art piece, right?" And I said, "No, I, I can't operate that way. I just got a whole bunch of charcoal on my hands and and just started moving around the canvas. And you know, 4:30 in the morning, I I sprayed it and I." I set it back and I looked at it and I said, yep, I'm done, I'm done. We're here with Andy Bird at Artist Corner to get our artwork critiqued by a professional. Catch that until like, like five, five minutes ago when Andy <laughs> pointed it out to me. Yeah. Like, Have you seen this picture before? Um, I saw it. He texted me a picture of it, but I I couldn't see it in this detail at all. He's got a demon devil in his picture that he never even attended, never even thought he'd even put in there. It has really bothered me that people that I've known, that I've been close to, that have been so strong and they've really stood for something. Over time, um, through the subtlety and the craftiness of the devil, they, they, they just get lost. I don't know where to start. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to portray a story of some sort, and I'm, I'm not going to really try to guess what the story is. Other than it's got to do with outer space, something going on with. I don't know if it's personally with you. But... I am so glad that we had Andy to, to critique these pieces yeah. of art. Uh, we live in the midst of two really big universities and very close to other universities. No. But this is the place I prefer to be. Um, Andy loves yeah, to have fun with people it. and joke with them and give them a hard time. And, uh, and he's just got such a solid, good oh, heart yeah. that it's, it's an honor to have him critique this work. This one, Process. I wrote a poem a few years ago um, comparing myself to a dandelion. At that point in my life, I felt like I had a lot going against me, but I wasn't willing to give up. And in the poem, um, I kind of describe how, like the dandelion, if you, you crush it, you uproot it, you get rid of it, the sun shines, the grass grows, and there the dandelion is again. So the dandelion is supposed to be alive in this picture, despite being trampled. Yeah, I, that's definitely, definitely, it's, it's not laying down, it's not flat, it's not crushed. So. For this piece, I wanted to portray, I, I feel like life teaches you lessons over and over again until you get it, and one that I feel like I've been stubborn to learn is, <laughs> is uh, not to go it alone that great success comes from including those around you. And the short saying I always sum it up to is, uh, one man would have never made it to the moon alone. So this is, this is supposed to be me going through my going it alone. I have some successes. I've almost completed a rocket, not done yet, my goal. 
and then over here okay. represents all the individuals of the world that stood behind. This was supposed to be a stage, and we go to the moon not because it is easy, but uh, because can, it is you hard. Know, you know what? I can, I can see it. <laughs> and once you feel like you've done it really, really well, and you're satisfied inside, that's when something's done. That's when your art's done. Um, when you feel like you've reached your goal um, and your demons, you found your demons inside, um, you can move mountains, you know, you, you can help somebody else. It's like your uh, moon and wherever it went and all the people and helping people behind it. It's the same concept and so I really enjoyed you guys coming and being able to harass you. Yeah, so. it. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Words of encouragement for everybody. Don't ever stop doing what you want to do and love because you'll, you'll just keep going. Uh, I got a really good saying that I never lose. I win or I learn.